Yo, it's Davo. What's going on, everybody? Today we are back with some more Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, and we're back with another tier list. And we're gonna be um, ranking best goddess race characters now. Myself, I had to uh, recruit some help, so I got the biggest goddess simp I know, and that is Rose. Say hello, Rose. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. Uh, let's um, let's dive in. So green Ellie hog. I, I ain't gonna lie. The only thing I remember is that she has a Pierce AOE. <laughs> yeah, she's like the budget Rugal basically, except with a shitty passive and definitely not good for PvP. Oh yeah, for sure. So uh, so our only use is PvE then. So would you? Would yeah, you put her? I'd probably know. put her in like a C. But if you're using multiple um colored like. The like, let's just say like red and blue units. She works better than like the mono teams. I see. So probably I, like a C. I know her passive was pretty cool for like to yeah. run in the back the HP related stats by ten percent. So yeah, I'll go ahead and put her. Did you see? Yeah, see, I'll say C. All right, this one, this sleeper agent of a DPS. No, uh, so a lot of people can't forget about her, but her damage can be stupid, bro. It's it's kind of nutty. Increased basic yeah. stats by 10% at the start of every turn when she doesn't take damage. Yeah, uh, it's her herself. So she's good in like red demon in the beginning, like when you're just petrifying him or freezing him at the end of every turn in like extreme. Yeah. She can get some nutty numbers, but she's not that good in like pvp or even like most pve things she's basically a, an early demon unit yeah or a training that's... cave so i'd probably put her in c2 thanks me too go ahead and put her in c now the healer one i think she is going to be higher than these two just because um she has good like survivability right correct hold on yeah well she helps your team like live more uh all allies yeah. heal 10 percent of max hp at the start of the next turn when when taking damage so yeah uh, I know a lot of people use her for like some final bosses early on when they first came out. Uh, I haven't used her too often though. I can't even think about the last time I used her. Other than like the solo Crimson maybe? Yeah. He was a good pick, but if he did that AOE, he would just you know, stop healing, which yeah. is kind of a bummer, but I think yeah. that makes her B or high yeah. C. What do you think? I'd say B probably. If you're, uh, I'd say, a cultured moron like I am and actually tried using her in PvP, she's actually a decent ult rush. I, I've actually managed to win with her in the front, but oh, yeah. she's still not that good. This heal card, it feels, oh, oh my mouse. Uh, oh. It feels by two at level three and one yeah. at level two. So that's cool, yeah, you can do a mini ult rush, you know. It's it's actually kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> I used Gahard for that, that too. And it, was, it was hilarious because she has the same heal card. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to Blue Ellie Hawk. I ain't gonna lie, I have no idea what she does, bro. All right. You know why? Uh, <laughs> because I just got her like what a month and a half ago. Because you don't see her anywhere. <laughs> I don't. See but she's definitely um a sleeping unit. <laughs> increase, <laughs> my God. Increase allies HP by twelve percent per debuff on this hero. On this hero, on her? Yeah. Why? Hey. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I actually used her in PvP during the Festival King meta, mm -hmm. and it was really nasty. But she, she but did don't you want to cleanse stuff. with with her with her like card? So her passive yeah, would be. Yeah, what I useful. did was okay. I used Valenti, and I, I just kind of gave the level one solidify to her, and then no one did any damage. <sighs> it's really, it's a really nasty. It even works in four v four. Oh. Uh, we're at like KOF because everyone ran like Kyo or like Pen, so I I ran her in ungeared and it was really nasty. So she's like that kind of she's a fun unit, but she doesn't really fit anywhere anymore. So I'd probably put her in like a B or an, a uh, maybe a low A. Low A. I'll, let's put her that's in the simp B right now. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just the simp, the simp talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Suicide Liz, uh, I think all y'all know what she does. Basically, well, I don't even yeah. think y'all know what she does because y'all just want to kill her, really. Like, I don't think yeah. anybody really pays attention to her cards. No, <laughs> she just... Disables uh, debuff skills for two turns. Oh, I think you remember what she does now, though. <laughs> I got a good run against you with that. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Remove debuffs and then she... What does she do? Uh, heals HP of 
He was 300% of attack, I see. Don't you have an attack set for for Ellie? I do. I have attack recovery rate and HP defense, but I can uh? switch them back and forth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh right. my God. So it's like, whenever they have a heal card and it scales off their attack, isn't the healing just dumb busted OP? Like, it can be, yeah. I haven't used her with an attack set, so I don't really know, but this card is only really good at level 3, so I personally don't like it. Okay. It's really good oh, yeah. as like a soft counter to the Festival King team, but I just, I don't, she's only really good for dying, basically. Basically, removes all allies, debuffs, fully heals their HP, and fills ultimate move page by 2. Yeah, so just, you just want her to die, basically, so where yeah. would you put her? Probably, probably like low B, only good for like 3v3 or like if you're trying to be cheesy. Okay, okay, I see, I see. All right, now, red-haired Liz. What do you think about her? I didn't summon for her. I don't have her. I only heard she's only good. Where is she? Uh, she's only good for like a uh, gray demon and she's actually one of the crappiest units for it. She can't <laughs> even hit it. So ranks up the skill cards of allies at the start of the turn in deathmatch if allies are hp attribute oh i didn't know it had deathmatch and i thought it just had like, yeah on a mono green team that's what I, that's what yeah. i thought this whole time but ugh, what yeah it works in the disaster raids and i know Marilli did like some really cheesy like two turn on valenti with it but hmm. other than that she's just really bad she's so bad i, I Bonafide deathmatch unit. She has fill with a single target. Oh, and they're both physical attacks, right? Oh, yeah, the sword. Yeah. Ah, they're not even ranged. That's a, why would they do that? Why would they do right. this? Why would they purposely cuck a unit? Like and she doesn't even work in the sub. No, I, I can see if she worked in the sub, but Jesus, bro. She has fill, decrease enemy skill ranks. Ah, and then she has a shadow. It doesn't work in the demon. I guess the ultimate because it's shadow not does. Doesn't Shatter do more damage than Grey Demon? I have no idea. I've never gotten to use an ult with her. I don't even <laughs> use her in Grey Demon. That's how bad she is. Okay. Oh, Jesus. And she does 945. Where would you where would you go ahead and rank her since she only has Straight one up use? Worst goddess unit in the game. Straight up worst. Okay, bro, uh <laughs> I love her, but she's so bad. Jeez, bro, like she came out when, like, um, the end of 2020, and she's that bad. I don't, yeah. I don't know what they were thinking. I honestly. don't. I couldn't tell you. It's so bad. All right, green healer Liz. I don't even like. I just say green oh, Liz. Yes. Uh, My favorite. She, I know she removes. I, she's like, she's looking good. She removes buffs, uh, 400% attack, buffs and stances, and she heals based off attack. This, this is crazy. Like, yeah. a level two is kind of nutty, and then. You old rush and like great demons, you can do all that stuff. Uh, yeah. And then I use feels, her. what's up? I use her in Grace. In Grace, yeah, she's she's, the best one. she's she's great for like soloing it too. Um, feels the yeah. hero's ultimate move gauge by two ores at the starter. That's that's crazy because then you can just move her card literally like yep twice and then like boom you you got her ultimate and you ult chase. Oh, yeah. And look, it says it's right so here, good. great ex. She's she's great for that. She's great for like yeah. um soloing it if you want to get that mission done for yourself. So, what's she good for? A final boss? I forgot. Was it King? Uh, I, I think it was King. It was King. I think yeah, it was King the first time it came out. Because then after that, I think it was all Dairy. But oh, I yeah. did use her the second time around. Oh, that automatically makes her eons better than Red Hair Liz. Uh, yeah. What, what, what do you say, like A or B? High B. B? I high mean, B? I'd say like a low A, high B, something like that. Okay, okay. Because what she does, she's very good at, but the thing is, there's just so much stuff she can't do. It's kind of yeah. like that. I, I, I hear you. Okay, I see. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and look at it. Um, Elat. <laughs> uh, what is, where, where is she at? E. There she is. Now, I only use her for. Guild boss. Guild boss. <laughs> oh, increased I allies. I she was for like final boss Merlin. Really? Oh, oh yeah, yeah she like, was. She I remember. Really, I remember. Yeah, yeah. She was the unit for Merlin. That's why I had summoned for her because I thought, oh, final boss unit, but <laughs> garbage for it. No. She increases allies crit damage by five percent every time she uses a card. Max of ten. I wish it was. Honestly, wish it was more. So this limit can go down to like maybe like. 
I don't know, like five or something. Maybe it'll, it'll be like 7% and then limit to like five times. But 10 is a lot, dog. You know how Shafty can get. You can use two of her cards and never get her cards again. Yeah. It's like, and that's the sad reality. I don't, these passives that have limit 10, it's, that's, that is a lot, bro. Like me, Casa, bro, like, you know how long <laughs> 10, like yeah. somebody has to get hit 10 times, bro? Like, you, oh my it's goodness. It's way too much. Uh, detonate. Uh, sometimes this this skill is it cucks it cucks you in final boss because if he mess around and has like more than like four Three old gauge, old. yeah, she just does too yeah. much, bro. With no yeah. with yeah. no yeah. gear, yeah. she did. Look at with gear, yeah. <laughs> with she no gear, she's done it. She doing like two hundred k. Like, bro, relax, dog. We don't yeah. need you to hit that hard. <laughs> No, I had to re-roll her C gear to make sure it had like minimum base stats and she still does a lot of damage. I just don't, I just don't put any attack items, uh, I mean attack gear on her. I just put the defense and the HP pieces. I just put double yeah. defense on yeah. for normal. No, uh, no normal I use Gustav and then for hard I use her and I don't put any attack yeah. on her. And um, no. this one lowers her crit um, resist and crit defense basically. Um, yeah. Death Pierce passive in, in a card essentially and her ultimate yeah. the higher you have it the more tankier you can make your team get rid of debuffs yeah. and increase defense related stats uh I think since her main use is just skill boss he doesn't really he doesn't even really fit on crit teams honestly because what you want to no. do for crit teams is Ludo and Death Pierce that's it so uh -huh. I think that's we gotta dock some points off first so what do you think I'd either think high C or low B because it's what she's she, she's only good at one thing, but she's exceptional and like a must have for it. Uh -huh. Like she's even with a really like wailed season three derriere strategy. So what uh -huh. she can do, she's like the main core of the guild boss itself, but everything else she's just flat out terrible in. All right, Rose, at this rate, we won't have anybody in A. <laughs> Because the rest <laughs> of these guys are like, oh, these are so bad. <laughs> I the love first, so bad. The first tier list where there are no A units, there's only S, B, and C. I mean, if we want to be nice, the green list could be A, but yeah, I'll, I'll think I'll put it in. All right, what about red <laughs> New Year's list? Uh, I like her. Um, she has that AOE attack heal, and she has that. Uh, what's but, the raise defense related stats and immune to debuff? A lot of ultimate card. Oh yeah, basically. So she's like the the red Easton kind of. Yeah. But since Easton is human, you can run the Gother with Tarmios instead, right? So it's like yeah. more of an effective Thanos snap. Well, her since yeah. she's a goddess, you can't do that. So. Yeah. Hmm. It's like if you'd rather run Red Gother, it works, but like. They both do the same thing, but just Easton, since she's human, she can kind of do it better. Yeah. So I think, dang, she did. She was the MVP against that match when I when I won against you. Low key that, though, probably. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm drawn. Uh, maybe. I want to say B, but I want to put yeah. it in A too. Yeah. I, uh, I don't know. She's, she's fun. I like using her. I used yeah. her in the Lily raid. And she actually did pretty well. Just because she's, just because she's different, mean, I'll give her A. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting. That's What's valid. Oh. I used her in the Lilia disaster raid, and I rushed the level three because it was immunity. Mm -hmm. So it's like she's actually pretty helpful in like a lot of unexpected things. Like I didn't think I'd be using her in a Lilia raid. Okay, so we got the the big four down here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There's no discussion. We, <laughs> <soon. no> <laughs> <laughs> this is notice really the whole tier list. We're just talking about these other Ellie cards, but you know <laughs> these four are just are where it's at. It's yeah, just where it's at, bro. Uh, yeah, I don't even. I think Not maybe you Ludo. can. Wait, what's up? Non money Ludo is an A, but money Ludo is like S, one hundred percent. I would agree too. So if you have a Ludo and he's just like a, a, a broke boy. A, but if you just have him weld out, he's he's up here. Is he better than Sario? Would he be better than uh, Sario? He makes Sario better. That's what it is. He's not like the best himself. His like rupture card is really nice to break shield, the Ellie shields and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But he's 
Where he shines is making everyone else shine, basically. So, yeah, what you want to do is invest in this guy. This guy is crazy, defensive, all that good stuff. You already know him. This guy is yeah. the polar opposite of him. He's just like super good offensively, especially if you have a Ludo too. It's just like GG's and got his Liz. It's, what, what do I need to say? She's, <laughs> she's got the holy his Liz. Forever because of her then. He's got his list. Uh, so yeah, that is going to do it for Goddess Race characters tier list. Uh, this has been Devo and Rose. Once again, you know, I had to, to milk the content for my friends, you know, because I, <laughs> I can't I can't play PvP. So uh, that's going to do it. Uh, make sure you go and follow. Um, go sub to Rose. Uh, her link is in the description. Make sure to go, go sub and do all that good stuff, man. If you if you are a, a Ellie simp like her, you'll enjoy her content for sure. So you got any parting word throws? Uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate it a lot because being able to simp is very is very fun. Ah uh, yes. Uh, so that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next one. All right. Peace.